Hi. Well, this. Well, I've been reading a lot online about the Lavon affair and all that, so I've dug a bit. Here's the public knowledge, public facts. But let's go further back, shall we? 1. 48. The, the War of Independence, 10% of the population dies. That means that men and women and some children were fighting to survive. That's fact. Another fact really relating to that, to that war is that the mere rumors of a massacre of, enemy, of basically enemy uh, villages, and they were, make no mistake about it, the reason they were killed, according to the rumors, is because they found evidence that they themselves were involved in a, in a massacre of Jews earlier. So, with that in mind, okay, the rumors of that one, whether, they, whether you believe they were in fact real or not, caused the right wing of the state to lose any purchase. Time goes on, 10 years they still can't get into power. They will only get into that in within at least 20 years. Now, in those 10 years after that one, that war, was the Levon affair. Simply put, it is believed that Itzhak Levon, a minister, had orchestrated a terror attack on American interests. Basically, so, he, they, he was supposed to incriminate uh, uh, Israel's enemies, so they would now like us. You know, it's stupid. Very, very stupid. Why? Remember those 10 years before? Less than a generation before? When this was found, he lost his career. And he was lucky that that was all that he lost. So in short, that was far too much of a risk to even consider taking. Completely and utterly stupid. As a result, Israel gave up its then current, its then current ally, the USSR, and switched to America, out of shame. So that did not work. And, and it wasn't going to work. So, why did he think he could pull it off? It was a, in any way a good idea. My idea? He didn't. Either he or another more operatives of Russia or America, in fact, organized this to basically get Israel to switch sides. And why do I believe that? Well, America has a history of doing just such things. So, yeah. Why would they do it? Well, it's quite clear that America lit American leadership believes Israel to be the kingmaker. Why, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's evangelical Christians. So, yeah. Well, this is enough.